Okay, so at this point, uh, let's look at Zara's 1918 Dada Manifesto to get a more definitive understanding of Dada. And then we can look specifically at the gas art and figure out just what exactly is going on with this play. Uh, so over the next few years, uh, you know, Cabaret Voltaire shuts down in 1916. Uh, Ball returns to Germany to live a quiet monastic life. Uh, and Zara takes over as the leader of the Dada movement. Uh, he's publishing magazines, he's holding soirees, and he ultimately lands the movement in Paris, uh, where he attracts the attention of other avant-garde artists of the time, including André Breton, who wrote the, uh, the, the Surrealist Manifesto. Now, Ball's manifesto on Dadaism was much shorter than Zara's, and it focused on a contempt for language, while implying that Dada is the subtext of the language and that words are an attempt to obfuscate truth. Zara was not as concise. He actually wrote seven Dada manifestos, and considering Dada lasted all of eight years, that's almost one manifesto per year. The contempt for language was still there. Uh, in one manifesto, Zara gave instructions for constructing a Dada poem. Uh, remember how much Ball emphasized simplicity? Uh, because that's key to the Dada poem. Zara said that to make a Dada poem, one, grab a newspaper. Two, cut out all of the words in an article. Three, put all of the words in a bag. Four, pull out each word one by one to get your poem. And if we were allowed to interact in person, this is exactly what we'd be doing right now. Alas, you'll have to imagine someone spilling newspaper clippings all across the floor and someone else picking them up in a random order and reading them. You're also welcome to try this on your own. I cannot guarantee this will result in a satisfying poem. In fact, I highly doubt that it will. In the manifesto on canvas, Zara talks about contradictions. I write this manifesto to show that people can perform contrary actions together while taking one fresh gulp of air. I am against action for continuous contradiction, for affirmation too, I am neither for nor against, and I do not explain because I hate common sense. Uh, Zara also talks about the subjective versus the, ob versus the objective again, uh, similar to, to Jean Morias with the uh, symbolist manifesto. Uh, Zara, Zara says that a work of art is never beautiful by decree, objectively and for all, Hence, criticism is useless, and it exists only subjectively for each man separately, without the uh, slightest character or universality. Does anyone think that he has found a psychic base common to all mankind? So we see the connection to Morias' symbolist manifesto lead up to this point in Dada. You, we can, you can see this through costume design. Compare Jari's woodcut of Papa Ubu as an egg. Hugo Ball's costume at the Cabaret Voltaire. The costumes for the second production of The Gas Heart. And even up to David Bowie on Saturday Night Live 50 years later. In his 1918 Dada Manifesto, Zara talks about Dadaist Scott. No. In his 1918 Dada Manifesto, Zara talks about Dadaist disgust. Here Zara preaches anarchy. Now, anarchy is not synonymous with chaos. Instead, anarchy means a system without central leadership. And often, the powers that be may describe such a system as chaos. In the section on Dadaist disgust, Zara writes, Every product of disgust capable of becoming a negation of the family, is Dada. He calls for the abolition of logic, of memory, of archaeology, of prophets, and even the future. Cast aside all of these guides. Stop searching for the stars which lead our ships. They merely get in the way and pull us away from freedom 
Dada, dada, dada. A roaring of tense colors and interlacing opposites and of all contradictions, grotesques, inconsistencies, life. So, for dada, we have the following. A contempt for formal language. A belief in the subconscious, contrary actions, and anarchy.